I guess everybody knows that Frank was supposed to tell tonight's story, but we have an unusual situation, and he's agreed to pass the bag to Eric. Eric? My grandfather died this week. He was from Ireland, and he used to tell these neat stories from Era. He'd act out all the different parts, and he used a new voice for each character. Um, before he died, he gave me his hat. He said, Eric Malad, guard it well. It's blessed with the power of the pixies. What's a pixie? Well, they're what Papa used to call fairies. He said, lad, if they always acted fair, I'd call them fairies. Papa was our kind of guy. He'd only tell stories about the evil ones. And he had this great one about Kelpie, a kind of water horse that invited little kids to hop on its back so he could swim out into the ocean and eat them. But I think that Papa's favorite pixies or the leprechauns. That's where you said he got his hat. What is a leprechaun? Well, they're kind of like little old men, and they make shoes. And they dress all in green, and they wear strange little hats like this one. How'd your grandfather get the hat? Well, he said he got it in a trade. If a person offers a pixie a trade, they can't refuse no matter how bad a deal it is. All you have to do is say, mine be yours, and yours be mine. Anyway. This was one of Papa's favorite stories, so I'm gonna try to tell it the way he did. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story, The Tale of Jake and the Leprechaun. Creature like you pick on a poor boy like this. Aye, Seamus Doyle, you stay out of this. I've come to take what's mine. <laughs> Stand aside, boy. The battle's just begun. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody help me with this wig. Well, let's break for the night, everyone. Good work. Jake Joyce wanted to be an actor more than anything else. His big break came when he landed the lead in Will of the Wisp, a magical play about leprechauns and goblins. It was Jake's first play, and unfortunately, it was going to be his last. Lucy! Lucy! I need my tea! I need me tea. Ah. <laughs> Just the thing. Just the thing. Hey, Lucy. Mm-hmm? What's that stuff Aaron's always drinking? Herbal tea. His own recipe. He says it helps him be creative. <laughs> it must work. He's brilliant. You think that stuff would help me? I'm not doing so hot. Oh, I think you're doing just fine, Jakey. Here's the recipe, but I doubt you'll find the ingredients. Aaron has his own stash, and I don't think he'll share. Jake! Oh, Jake! Thanks, Lucy. Good luck. Jake Mila, I feel inspired. Let's practice the jig. Sure. Look at this place. Over a hundred years old. Nearly as old as I am. Shut your eyes. Feel the magic of the stage. The power of the theater. Let it transport you into another realm and make you into a magician. Mm -hmm. 
Take a good long drink, sugar. So you stay pretty and fresh. <laughs> Hello? Anybody here? Whoa. <laughs> You're looking at me like I was a saint, but heed me words. You're the one who has the glamour. I'm sorry. It's just that... What do you mean, I have the glamour? Nothing at all. Just a feeling. Sean O'Shane is the name. Remember it. You might be needing me. What is it I can do for you? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm looking for, for some special herbs to make tea. Do you carry these? You've come to the right place. Me herb garden is one of the bluebells, foxgloves, and ragweed. How dare you bring this here? It's just... You'll not be getting such herbs here. A pox upon you for asking. It's just for tea. I know what it's for. Off with you. Off! Come back any minute. Are you sure? Yes! Hurry! You'll never be a boy again. I don't care! Then dance with me. And speak as I speak. The fairy ring does dance and sing. The mortal bloom a dying. The fairy ring is dance and sing, the mortal gloom a dying thing. Now turn me into spirit bright and leave behind the human light. Turn me now into a spirit bright and leave behind the human light? What? What's happening? Keep going on. Don't stop now. You run to something. No, stop. Stop it. All right, all right. That's enough. That's all, everybody. Good day, good day. Jake. Jake, my lad. You've got to let yourself go. What's happening to you now is the stuff of genius. Trust me. But my voice changed. I changed. It was scary. It was wonderful. I don't like it. Jake, you've got to understand. When you're making magic up here, it's like, it's like you've got the glamour. You have the gift, boy. Use it. Mr. Shaney, it's me. Ah, go away. You're not welcome here. Please, I need to know about those herbs. Yeah, I am sure you do, but I can see through you like hard crystal. Let me be. No! Please, listen to me. You're taking me for a fool, and Sean O'Shaney is anything but a fool. Good day. But something weird is happening to me. You saw it. It's like I'm changing. What is this place? I've let you in to say your piece. So get on with it. OK. I'm in this play. It's about a leprechaun who saves me from a goblin by turning me into a leprechaun, too. Go on. But it's like the more we rehearse, the stranger I feel. Last time, my voice even changed. It was scary. Aaron said that Aaron. he's a leprechaun. He told me it was because I had the glamour. That's what you called it, too. 
This sounds dumb. Maybe I'm just nervous about the play. You really don't know about these herbs, do you? Just that Aaron uses them to make tea. Oh, he does, does he? Herbs can be very powerful if used by those who know how. And if you know how to get them. How'd you get those? A trade with a springin'. Yours be mine and mine be yours. It was all I took. Cost me my favorite toothpick. Yours be mine and mine be yours? Hmm. Sounds like a line from our play. When did you say this play of yours is? We open tomorrow night. Last rehearsal's tomorrow at noon. Why? You want to come? I wouldn't miss it for all the suds in Dublin. Then dance with me. And speak as I speak. and stars. The fairy rings dance and sing. The mortal bloom a dying. Yeah. Ah, turn me now into spirit bright and leave behind the human plight. Turn me now into a spirit right and leave behind the human plight. if you don't mind. What? I'm the one who released the rope. Are you crazy? You nearly killed me. Now, John Didrich is true, but it's not from me. Take a deep breath and look at yourself. His ears got pointy? Weird. Very weird. Yeah. And as Pop-Up used to say, this is where the plot thickens. I felt it the first time I saw you. It's the glamour. Every time you take the oath, you're a step closer to becoming a changeling. A changeling? But it's a play. It's not real. It's as real as those pointy ears. And tonight, you'll take the oath for the final time. This can't be happening. Aaron wouldn't do this to me. Hmm. He would if he is who I think he is. Where does this Aaron dwell? His room's downstairs, but no one ever goes there. He always naps before performances. Ah, oh, what better time to pay him a visit? I don't think he likes visitors. Then let's be crafty about this. Lucky charms and far-leaf clovers. <laughs> what are you doing? Help me now, lad, and I'll answer all your questions later. Aaron's not gonna like this. Come on! Just as I suspected. That's my hat. That's my picture. Leave it be. You'll know we've been here. Aaron's got a pet toad. That's no toad, lad. It's a changeling. We haven't much time. 
Come on. Rampart, uh, time. It must be here someplace. He's coming back. Foxglove, uh, cowslip. Uh, ah, got it. Rowan root. Now we're in business. Let's go. We're dead. Errands, a banshee. Aye, the cruelest of all the pixies. They drink the tea of bluebells, foxgloves, and ragweed. That's why I thought you were the one who wanted the herbs. Then what does you want with me? Ah, uh, here's where it gets sticky. They feed on human souls, the banshees do. Every seven years, they need to devour another one, leaving some poor creature in its place. The toad. The toad was a person. A changeling. That's the oath you've been taking during the play. For real. Lose this. I'll call him dad. They'll get the police. Take it easy, Skipper. The process has already started. Look at your ears. You can't survive as half a changeling. But what can I do? You can beat him at his own game. an opening act. I thought you forgot. Are you ready for the finale? As ready as I'll ever be. Nah, that's the spirit. Let's get to work. There are three rules to beating a banshee. You must do them all or the game is lost. You with me? Do I have a choice? No. Rule number one, be fearless. Swallow this. Forget it. We don't have time, Jake. Fearless. Oh, fearless. Oh. Good. Now, where's the boater bag? Now add these. Rowan tree, red thread, puts the witches to their speed. Ah. Rule number two, give him a taste of his own medicine. Don't you drink that yourself. <laughs> Don't worry. Rule number three. Don't take your eyes off him. You must spellbind him. Lock your eyes with his and turn his own spell against him. Understand? Then let the angels be with you, lad. The fairy ring does dance and sing. The mortal gloom a dying thing. Fairy rings dance and sing, the mortal gloom a dying thing. Turn me now into spirit bright and leave behind the human plight.
turn me now into a spirit bright and leave behind the human plight. Who have you been talking to, boy? I lost his gaze. <laughs> You're not afraid, are you? <laughs> no, no, I'm fearless. Do you guys see what I've seen? What is it? Did we miss this in rehearsal or something? What is this? You're all mine. <laughs> help! Help somebody! This is really happening! <laughs> You're mine forevermore! <laughs> Hello, Gort. Or is it Aaron now? Sean she. Well, you're too late this time. <laughs> Gort, still up to your same old tricks. Because old tricks still work. Sean? <laughs> so you thought the little leprechaun horn would help you? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Seven years I've waited, and now you're mine! No! <laughs> <laughs> you're mine! <laughs> right you are, Gort. He is yours. And this... Is mine! Me too! <gasps> Indeed. But now it's mine. I've kept it all these years. Care to make a little trade? No. Yes. No. Yours be mine, and mine be yours! No! Friend, distant place, return, return to the human race. What happened? You're free, lad. You beat the banshee. It's not. When the need rises. Will of the Wisp was never performed again, and Aaron had disappeared forever. The end. And that one, Papa, was for you. Mm -hmm.